Good day, day sir Paya, for this episode. Uh, i-demonstrate po natin yung ginawa nating carental system. So, we have a rental module, return module, client, car, income, transaction lab, log, car brand, and then uh, the user and lagat. So, sa car brand, so dito tayo mag-add ng brand ng car. Say, so, for example, um, so, may mga brand dito, like Ford, uh, Honda, Mits uh, Mitsubishi, Toyota, uh, example, uh, Nissan. So, save lang natin. Ayan, so, automatic siya nag add dito. And then, pwede rin tayong mag-update. Example, update natin siya. Ayan, so, nag-update po yung Toyota natin. Tapos, pwede rin natin siyang i-delete. No? Ayan. Tapos, uh, sa car, so, pwede tayong makapag-add ng car. Like, for example, yung plate number natin. Tapos, yung brand natin is uh, Toyota. Uh, Toyota Altis uh, model 2019. Tapos, yung color niya is white. Tapos, yung rental. So, example, yung rental niya is lagay na lang natin na 2,500 a day. And save natin. Okay, so ayan. So, nag-save siya dito. Okay, so kung makikita natin yung status, so available yung status, meaning, um, pwede siya ma-rent. Okay? And then, for the client, so pwede tayo makapag-add ng client. For example, add natin dito si... Pari Tom, address, Surigao City. So, birthday na niya is, example, nagyan na lang natin, 20, uh, 21. Uh, contact number niya, example ng contact number niya. Identification, so, naka-fix na ito siya. Ayan. So, you update nyo na lang if gusto nyo maglagay ng uh, maintenance for identification. So, for example, company ID. Then, lagay na lang natin dito yung company ID. Save. Ayan. So, may mga record na. Okay. Then, so, it is editable. Ayan siya. And then, for rental, say, for example, mag-rent tayo. No? So, automatic nag-generate yung kanyang transaction number. Okay. And then, search natin yung client. So, example ng client. Tapos, ito is yung plate number. So, example, plate number niya. Tapos, one day. So, automatic sa mag-adjust. If to this yung rental, at uh, 3D, so automatic siya. Depende yung magkano yung uh, rental. So, example, one day, then rent natin a car. So, pwede makapag-rent pa ng another car. Example, ayan. Tapos, rent. Okay, so, if uh, i-delete natin, so automatic mag-delete dito sa kanyang uh, rent, no? And then, automatic so mag um, back yung status ng car to available. And then, okay natin. So, ito yung total amount na babayaran. So, sample, lagay natin is 6,000 the payment. Okay. And then, dito, sa car, so, makikita natin yung barod na car. Okay. So, 
again, rin tayo ulit. Then, apari, thumb. Tapos, yung makikita na lang natin dito is the available uh, car. So, rin. Ayan, tapos, pay, pay five. So, check natin the car. So, we have to available. Okay. And then, return. So, if ever uh, i-return natin. Ayan siya. And then, select lang natin. Oh. Select. Tapos, dito, if uh, mag, mag choose yung car, rental lang car, so automatic, uh, makikita natin dito kung magkano yung charge. So, yung charge niya is uh, daily kung magkano yung uh, rental charge ng, ng car. So, so hindi niya ma-return if ever na may uh, uh, nag-due. No? So, pag ito is, ayan, so pwede siyang ma-return. Sample, ito is pwede siyang ma-return. Ayan, tapos so, ito is. Ayan, return. So, try natin. If mag -due, no? So, what will happen if mag yung kanyang So, example, uh, dito sa car, available na lahat. So, rent. Tapos, example, dito is Tom. Then, rent a car. Tapos, kasi dito is hindi mo ma-close yung itong rental transaction if hindi mo babayaran like for example yan so hindi siya pwede i-close pag hindi na settle yung payment so settle mo na yung payment bago niya ma-close tapos accept ayan so let's try Okay, so, rental DB. Tapos, table rent. So, dito tayo sa barod, no? So, edit natin to. So, assume natin na this is na rent niya is rent bar niya is 30. Tapos, return niya dapat is 30 since 1D lang yung um, ano, yung rental niya dito. So, ito, nag, nag, uh, ngayon is 31. So, if ever na, no, na mag-juice siya, so, titingnan natin dito sa return. Okay, so, dito is, uh, pwede rin tayo maka-search dito. Ayan. So, example, dito siya. Ayan, so, mayroon siya dito na nag-juice na 3,500. So, pag return mo, so, hindi siya pwede kailangan niyang bayaran. So, example, bayaran natin siya. Then, saka pa siya ma-return. Okay, so, ganyan. And then, dito sa ating uh, income, so, makikita natin ito income natin. Oh. So, automatic siya nag-generate. Okay. Like, for example, kahapon, so, wala siyang income na na-record. So, ngayon, ayan, so, meron siyang total income na 35,000. Okay, so, may kita nga dito yung transaction number, client name, tapos yung total, tapos yung date. Okay, tapos, dito naman sa ating transaction log, makita natin dito yung history ng transaction natin. So, try natin.
try natin. Tapos rent natin. Tapos pin natin ng 4,000. Okay. And then, transaction logs. So, makikita natin dito, no? Ayan. So, meron siyang ito, na barod. Hindi ilang yun natin na, no? Na, na sort by ID. So, na sort lang natin siya by transaction number. So, dapat sort din siya by ID. So, ito yung barod natin. So, once na return natin. So, return natin. Return. Then, check natin ulit sa transaction log. So, ayan, return na lahat. And then, sa car, so, available na yung status, meaning, uh, ready for rental. Okay, so, ayan. Okay, so, uh, pwede nyo itong ma-download, uh, itong, itong programs, kasama lang database para uh, may magamit kayo na reference. So, again, if bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel at pakihit na rin sa notification bell para updated kayo sa mga video natin. Okay, so, ayan lang. So, I hope meron kayo natutunan na bago. Ayan. So, ingat kayo palagi. Happy coding everyone.